Okay, this is going to be a very quick tutorial on how to use PP Counter for dual PC streaming setup. So we are going to use an application called Gosu Memory. Mm, the uh, Gosu Memory is a application uh, memory reader for OSU that's basically going to be used for PP Counter purposes. And oh yeah, by the way, I also have a written version of this tutorial, so. Um, you can go to the link in the description below to see. Right, uh, back to Gosu Memory. You need this application and you need the latest version of Gosu Memory, which is 1.3.1. And how do you know if your Gosu Memory is the latest version? Easy, you can just go to Gosu Memory folder and see if there, if there is config.ini in here. So if your Gosu memory doesn't have this file, then it is not updated to the latest version. You can just open Gosu memory exe to uh, auto update it itself and you're done. Uh, but for this case, we are going to access this file. Config.eni, you can open it with notepad and in this case, notepad++ I'm using. Um, and you want to change this to line uh, server IP and course. Um, you need to delete this and you need to change the course from true uh, from false to true and save it You're done with the first step Now for the second step, we are going to change a little bit of code in the pp counter. So um, Go to the static folder and you need to pick the counter that you are going to use So in this case, maybe I'm going to use victim crasher compact it is my own counter, but it is already been released to the public. So, okay, you need to locate this file index.js and open it with notepad. And you want to look for this word in here, 127.0.0.1 or 24050. And we are going to change this to location.host. And you need to do this for every single uh, 127 something something in this code. So yeah, it is better to just search for that. Something like this, we need to change it to. Location.host. And don't forget the plus, the plus. And you are done with the second step. I'll show you uh, why this is important. But we are going to the third step first, which is knowing your own IP address. So all you need to do is go to search, type CMD, type IP config, and search for IPv4 address. And you need to uh, write this down or just plain remember it if you have a strong memory. And we are going to the last step, uh, which is actually trying and see if it is actually works. Go back to Gosu memory folder, run Gosu memory.exe, and you can open OS. You're here forever. Click the circles. And just let it play in the background, actually. Any map. And let's see. Let's. Let's see if it is actually working or not. Go to localhost 24050, uh, 24050, go to Victor Fracture Compact and it is working. But is it working on the second computer? Let's just see. Well, I don't have a second computer, so let's just use my phone. All right, you want to go to this address. So 192.168.0. Um, port 24050, and we are going to see our uh, counter, which is Victim Crasher Compact, and voila, it is working. Now, um, this is what I said that it is important to you to change the code because let's just see the other counter. It is not working on the phone on or on other devices, but it is working here. So it is very important to change the code and yeah i think that's all for 
this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.